Hey guys, it's Roy here from rwoco12 and epicdroid.com with a quick video showing you how to fix one of my biggest annoyances with the Honor 8, um, or I should say one of my only annoyances with the Honor 8. Um, and that annoyance is that when I use the Honor 8, it looks like I'm using an iPhone. Uh, with the Honor 8, they opted to use the Emotion UI or EMUI launcher, and that launcher has a very iPhone look to it. Um, it's very popular where the Honor phone was originally made in China to have a device that looks like an iPhone. It's very popular to have iPhones. And so Honor went ahead and they made the decision to use the iPhone look for the Honor 8. Now I have heard rumors, I don't know if they're true or not, that the next version of Emotion UI will be getting rid of this or at least allowing you the option to use a more stock approach to the Android launcher. Um, one of my biggest things that I don't like about the Motion UI is the theming of the icons. They all look like their iPhone apps. And then also the fact that I don't have an app drawer. When I use my device, I want an app drawer. It makes it easier to find my apps and it makes it so it's super quick to find and also easier to organize. There's no organization to the Motion UI uh, as far as the way the icons are sorted here. They do have folders you can put them in, but that's about the limit of what you can do. It's a very easy fix, and it's something that many of you are probably familiar with, and I didn't even think of until I was sitting in bed the other night, and it is Nova Launcher. Nova Launcher has gotten me through a lot of hard times with uh, TouchWiz and other devices. It's given me the look and feel that I want with every launcher that I have or with every device that I have, and I'm able to use that across multiple devices. So once you've installed Nova Launcher, you hit open, and presto, you have it. Now that's not going to stick. The second you hit your home button, it's going to take you back to a motion UI. So what we need to do is we're going to go into settings and you look for apps and then down in the bottom left corner there is a advanced button. You hit that and then you have default app settings and what you want to do is the first one here is launcher. You're going to select that and instead of default Hawaii home you're going to hit Nova Launcher. And it says change the default launcher may consume more battery power, produce additional data usage fees, and pose security risk. Keep this, keeping the system default is strongly recommended here. Keep default or change. We're going to change it. Like I said, I've been using Nova for years, and it is awesome. I love it. So you hit the home button, and it's going to take you to Nova every time now. So there you go. You now have more of a stock Android look and feel, and you have Nova Launcher as your primary launcher. If you have any questions, hit us up in the comments below. Just want to tell you guys thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe to us on Twitter and YouTube to stay up to date with our latest content. And you guys have an awesome day.